Hey guys. So, if someone contacts you with some sort of like constructive criticism, shall we say, um, and you respond to them um, nicely, you would like not be so crazy to expect some kind of like response back right you would assume that you're like entering into a conversation um maybe i'm just crazy but uh that's what i thought when i received a message on facebook <laughs> um and it was um from a lady who was advising me that maybe the reason that some of my posts weren't being shown on Facebook is because uh, my language is explicit at times and maybe Facebook's watching that. I highly doubt that Facebook gives a flying fuck what I'm saying. Even people on my friends list don't give a flying fuck what I'm saying. So, why would Facebook be monitoring my posts? Highly unlikely. So, I responded and gave, you know, thanked her for, um, you know, her message. And um, I uh, told her reasons why... You know, I acknowledge the fact that um, my language isn't um, the best at times. And then I gave her reasons why um, I used to monitor that and now I don't. Um, and I gave her reasons. Um, I gave her reasons for that and probably even like more information than was really even necessary I gave her. I entered into a discussion and got no response. It's like, why are you gonna rattle my fucking cage um, if you have no interest in what I've got to say? Um, it was just really fucking bizarre to me. Like, why would you do that? Um, and, it, like, I didn't, I wasn't just like, oh yeah, thanks, fucking go eat a dick, I don't care what you're talking about. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I gave a fucking nice fucking response um, and got nothing in return. Um, and I just don't understand what the whole point of it even was. If you don't want to fucking talk to me, then why did you message me in the first place? Like, I just don't fucking understand. I did used to really monitor what I said um, after my mum first died. I was having a lot of people contact me. Um, and um, I was monitoring my language as a result because, you know, I'm representing my mum in a way. So, you know... Um, I did sort of watch it, but then, um, I just, I stopped giving a shit because people will always find a reason to fucking crack the shits or fucking delete you or fucking whatever. And whether it's for fucking swearing or for fucking sending a fucking group message about breast cancer awareness... You're going to fucking get deleted by people. If people want to delete you, they're going to delete you. If your time is expired, your time is expired. So, um, what is the point in... What is the point in, you know, fucking changing how I am or, like, censoring myself just to fucking try to hold on to a few people? If you're going to fucking go, then go. Um, you know... And it's always, like, you know, it's it's actually the ones, like, the people that have deleted me and, like, been bothered by shit that I've said 
have not been anyone that has contacted me in response to my mum. It's been people that I've known for years. Um, like, long-term friends that have fucking walked away. So, you know, I just thought, I'm really worrying about the wrong fucking people. Um, because, you know, my so-called friends are the ones that clearly don't understand me after... Um, such an extended period of time together. So, um, you know, these new people are not really the ones I have to be worried about because apparently they don't care. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, <laughs> awkward. Okay. Thanks for watching guys. See you.